everybody. I know I don't give a, don't give a fuck. I'm cursing on TV and retaining this year. This year will Olympic gold. My dream's been shattered now. But you know what? I have a big career ahead of me. And these ones, they're known for being cheats. And I'll always be cheats. How much of boxing stinks from the core right to the top. You stayed in the ring and you acknowledge the fans and people from nations around the world, not just the Irish fans, cheered you when you put up your hand as number one. Do you feel like our, that the Boxing Federation now needs to take a good look at themselves? Yeah, like Kitty yesterday. No way she lost that fight. It was a close fight, but she didn't lose. Today, I thought I boxed the ears of him in the first round and then the score went against me. So I had to go to his fight, which he did. Out for him. And, uh, you know, they were just being a bit... It's a shambles to be honest. I don't, I don't, I don't even care what I'm saying now. Like, probably just blabbering on, but I, I'm gutted uh, from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to go back with, with a gold medal in Ireland. Now I feel like I'm back like a loser. No, I'm not a loser, I'm a winner. And, and, and today just, just showed how corrupt this, this uh, organisation is. Michael, we'll give you some t t time to gather your thoughts. Thanks for joining us for being wrapped here. Obviously, uh, apologies for the use of the bad language there, but he's very, very frustrated. He's very upset. Bernard, amateur boxing stinks, he says. Uh, come here, I don't think I could have said it better myself. Uh, I said just before we went to the fight that the judge enough to force round would tell a lot about this fight and what Michael has to do. The judge in that force round was, was just ridiculous. Uh, Ayiba um, needs to really look at itself because, you know, that just turns people off boxing.